So one of the biggest skills in trapping is uh, knowing when to pull out. For all of you that have been following, you know this has absolutely been, it's pretty much sucked, is pretty much what I'm trying to say. It, it's just sucked. We had a lot of hope for it, both from what people told us and from, we've even seen sign out here. We've sat directly on sign off some really high traffic trails, and all we have caught out here is one, a possum, and two, whatever it is that the thief stole from us just a few days ago, which I have a feeling was probably a coyote or who knows, John, probably a bobcat, which really sucks because that's what I've been after all year and have been unsuccessful. I always get down here and I don't know where the traps are, but from the road, I know exactly where they are. We have a trap here somewhere. Where's that? So if you're wondering why we have this thing right here, this is gonna be what we use to get the traps up. Me and John has had some trouble getting these guys up. We tried to pull one up here recently. And it was stuck on like a tree root or something. We brought some reinforcement. Where's this trap even at? There's your bait hole, so it should be right there. This ain't stole too, is it? I think right there it is. Where? I think I see it. You see, see the trap? Maybe. Is it set off or what? No, it's not. The trap's right over there. There she is. So basically what we're gonna do with this, stick it right in the chain, just like that. Use the leverage, get that baby up just like so. Still not touch them because we're gonna reset them back at the house. We're in like the last, what, John, like three weeks of trapping season. So we're like, you know what? We've had more luck at home behind the chickens. And we really need to trap more behind the chickens if we're trying to protect them from predators. And also look out for deer and turkey population. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna focus all of our efforts back at the house. Take out as many as possible. They're gonna have all year long to replenish. We'll be back at it again next year. But right now, we gotta make these last three weeks count. What I'm most surprised out of all of this, is that we have yet to catch a single coon this whole time, all right? There's a lot of coons out here. I know people that coon hunt in this specific area. And we've had three dog groups out here for the majority of trapping season. Now these are much easier to get off, especially when you just attach them to a tree like this. So just like that, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom, dog proof. On to the next one. Oh. There you go. I thought that was stolen too, man. Now, let's just be honest, there was nothing getting caught in that one. Trapping skills have improved, y'all, so don't be hating too much. This is the only way to go, John. This is the easiest way to do it. Look at that. Look at that. Since this is a little bit monotonous, John, I think I'm gonna let you get some cool slow-mo of this trap going on. John's covered in dirt. I hope that food is worth it. John is gonna have to take a shower. Well, would you look at that right there? You think this would be a good crappie structure or what? Like put a few of these together maybe? You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at that. I mean, that's better than a Christmas tree, right? I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe coming out here and picking up a few of these. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like 10 or 12 bushes out here. You put a couple of these bad boys together and you're set. So I guess public hunting land is basically just uh, some people's trash can or a place if you decide to uproot your entire front lawn, I mean, you know, you can do that. All right, we have, what is this, John? Something pull up and take a dump right here? Is that not just a big pile of coyote crap or what? Looks like it. Are you kidding me? This trap has been, what is that? That's more. I don't know if it is or not. Should I give it a whiff or what? But anyway, we made it up here to the tree that is pretty much holding on to our trap right now. We set this trap off, what, John, probably a week ago now? This trap has been out of commission for a week. Uh, and we've basically just been waiting until we come back with one of these and we just keep forgetting. And well, today we, we, we did have one of these. So this trap is already set off. All right, we're rolling up on the thief trap right now. We've had no action out here either from animals or thieves. I come out here every day just to kind of look and see what is going on with the trap. If you guys want another quick run through, basically we had a trap right here and we caught something in it. Actually right there is still our dirt hole. And this big log, if you guys remember, was our backing right there. Well, we come up here, if you guys haven't seen the most recent video, I highly recommend checking it out. There was a pool of blood right here. We later came back and John and his investigative skills found a 380 round that was spent right there. So operating off my hypothesis that whoever done it would likely come back, and I figured they would already come back. We set a, another trap, more so for the thief, even though we do expect to probably catch something in it. Well, not really. I mean, we haven't caught a coon yet, but anyway, we set the trap here for the thief, and right over here is the trail camera. But see, that's the whole thing. That is not the actual trail camera. It is a trail camera, but it's not 
the trail camera we expect to catch him on. So I'm thinking he probably walked down this way. There's another path right over there, but he probably walked down this one, I would guess. I don't know. He, he could st probably seen the animal from the road too. The trap we have now for him, he looks up, he can see the golf ball right there. I mean, if I move my hand right there, there's our dog proof trap. It's pretty visible. And then right over here, he sees the, he sees the trail camera. And he's like, no, not today. I'm not getting caught today, but I am getting a new trail camera and I'm getting a new dog proof. We're thinking he's gonna walk up behind the camera, do what he has to do to the camera, probably steal the camera first. And then he's gonna come up to the dog proof, which is what he probably saw at first. Now, while he is here messing around with the dog proof, this right here is what's getting sent to my phone immediately. Because right there is a cellular camera, if you can see it right there. I just got another notification. A lot of people say they think that's a little too obvious and that he's probably just gonna get two trail cameras and a trap, but this trail camera actually has a tracking device in it and I get a picture of the guy's face. Honestly, I would probably take that trade off. Now, it's not my goal to get this trail camera stolen. So it is a little bit camouflage. It's, it's not perfect, but it's 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 okay i do think we are going to leave this trap for a little bit longer it is just another dog proof we're getting a lot of action on our dog proofs at home so we're catching a ton of coons so yeah i think that's all we're going to do out here john's happy about not having to come back and check all these traps as much but we do have to go check our trap line home right now so fingers crossed we have something in the trap today and if you're seeing this video we probably do all right guys we're walking back right now to check on one of our snares and by golly guess what we got we got us another red fox we knew that there was one in the area and we found it. We've got him trapped right here. I can't tell really how he's caught. What are we gonna do with this guy, John? Are we gonna mount this one too or what? No, we gotta eat him. We gotta eat this guy, don't yeah. we? Well, I don't know. Is this one prettier than another one? No. Bruh. I don't know, John. He's just caught right around the back legs. I know that's what I was gonna say. I okay, that's not a good time. That's not a good time. Oh, you need to. Yeah, we probably need to do something with him pretty soon. <laughs> you want to eat some chickens? Not today. We're gonna go ahead and get this guy taken care of. We've definitely stressed him out a little bit, so I don't wanna cause him any more stress than what he already is. We're gonna kachow him and uh, get back to you guys. We are having somewhat of a successful day on the trap line. Looks like we got something up in that trap. We're gonna check these here first. We definitely don't have anything there, John. So, all right, you know what, we'll take it. Be honest with you, I think this may be the biggest coon of the year, John. This is a beautiful coon, though. Harvest, baby, harvest. Right, here we go, boys. That is the darkest coon I have seen all year. All right, I don't think he's that big of a coon. I think he's just darker. I don't know, John. He's a pretty big coon. Yeah. I can't make up my mind. Is he big or not? I can't I don't figure know. it out. Back there, he looks big. Yeah, he looks he looks big. Very nice coon. We're probably gonna skin him up and uh, get him took care of. We're definitely gonna be eating this guy up. So uh, hopefully that'll be in this video or in another video. You probably know by the thumbnail. But uh, Johnny, you know what to do, sir. Fox should be done by now. Yeah, he's he's out. You out, buddy? Hey. Yeah, he's done. All right, so you can see right here, I'm gonna set the gun down. You can see right here, he was caught right on the back legs. And he has made a mess right here. Caught right here on the back legs and just could not get out. Right there's the lock. And this is a female? No, it's a male. Daggum, we got... We got a bunch of males out here, but a beautiful red fox. But there he is, folks. Look at those teeth. Some gnarly looking teeth right there. Just a, uh, a beautiful animal though. You got him right there, long shot. Beautiful fox. I don't know that he's as big as the last fox I caught. He's a pretty one. This is definitely the one that we saw on trail camera. He's got those blacker legs for sure. All right, there he is. There's the chickens, that's what we're trying to protect. You guys are lucky. Let's see if we even have a reason to protect you. We've been getting about three eggs a day. Looks like we have one, two eggs. That's not good. I can't keep feeding you guys if you're just gonna be putting out one egg a day. It just ain't worth it, all right? Much less protecting y'all from all these things. Come on. We got this big fancy tub thing now for their feed. We stepped up the feed game pretty good. There you go. He is wrapping up the fox. We've got them all cleaned up and uh, we got food. You ready for dinner? Uh, I just had cookies. I'm good. We're going to get this guy all cleaned up just to try it out. We took our time skinning the fox, so hopefully we're going to end up getting the hide out of him. We're going to get this on some ice, get her all cleaned up. Hopefully the next thing you see is uh, us trying some fox. And the day is here. We uh, we have our fox right here. This We skinned the fox just enough to get this real egg off. We're going to skin him completely out. A pretty good sized hunk of meat. Now, something I'll point out to you right off the bat. This sucker has no fat on it at all look at this not a lick of fat john was in shock john's only ever skinned a possum and a coon and coons he skinned the coon most mm -hmm. recently coons have ridiculous amount of fat 
he was shocked to see this. And I was honestly kind of shocked too. I've never seen an animal like this. But pretty much the setup on today's little cooking adventure, we have fox leg here. We have a slow cooker. We have an arrangement of spices uh, for the fox leg. We usually go limited spice on stuff like this when we're trying it for the first time. But I have a strong suspicion that this is probably going to be not good. All right, a little onion powder going in. It's kind of eyeballing it here, nothing, nothing extra. We don't expect a whole lot, but you know. Garlic powder, red pepper flakes, gotta watch right. out on these. You don't want many of those. Some salt, now it's been soaking in some salt water already. We'll probably add some more of this toward the end of it too. Do a little taste testing maybe. We're gonna turn this right here on low and we're gonna let that sit for honestly, I don't know how long. We're just gonna kind of eyeball it and when it looks about right and we cut into it, you know, everything is looking like it's edible. Toward the end, we're gonna add some vegetables like carrots, uh, taters. What else, John? Anything else? We will see you probably in the morning. Here we go, folks. We are ready, almost ready to eat some fox. So as you can see there, we've already added some vegetables, some uh, carrots and potatoes. We're just adding the last bit of vegetables into the pot and we should have some fox ready to eat in probably about 30 minutes. Well, look who we got here, folks. He has made a return. We've, we've made a celebration feast for you. Tell me that don't look good. Huh? Ain't no way. That looks good. What's it look it? like? I can't look see it. You I can't see, see it. it. The water's on the Pick a piece up and see what it looks like. Here. That's, oh my God. That would just fall off the bone. Shh. What do you think? Huh? No way. I bet you've never seen fox that tender. Have you? Huh? No. You gonna try some? Nope. Uh, I can't believe you're gonna eat that. Why? Yeah, she's got a few more minutes. I don't know if the preacher's gonna join us no, or not. I can't, I can't take on that one. I fully expect it to just taste like regular meat. It's slow cooked in there for probably 12 hours. What do you think? I'm about to throw up. Just think about it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. All right, there she is. That is the fox that we prepared. Now, we probably could add some more seasoning to it. I say we just try it just as is. Went a little heavy on the garlic. You can smell the garlic pretty strong. So we're gonna we're gonna try. It looks and it acts like it's very tender. So all right, here we go. We have the fox. We have the taters and carrots. Now I'll be honest with you, the taters and carrots probably not all the way done. So we may hold off on those right off. But right here is the fox. And I gotta tell you, first off, just looking at it, looks like regular meat. Got a good little hunk there. We're going right in. Initial impression. Tastes just like anything else. Good. Pretty good, John. It's good. I, this ain't this ain't just me like saying this on. This is good. Like I would eat this. We're we're gonna eat the rest of this. What comes to mind right off is elk. So it's got a little bit of wild taste, but it's really not much at all. I mean, we put what season we put in garlic, onion, uh, onion powder, red pepper flakes. Can't taste a whole lot of that. There's definitely a little bit of it. Maybe it helped a little bit, but on a scale of one to ten, I would probably give this about eight and a half. Honestly, like I'll, I'll take a. That's good. Why are people not eating these? You know what I'm saying? Do dogs taste this good? Bruh. I think we're gonna try something else too. So we don't have any hamburger buns. When I see this, I think barbecue pork sandwich or something like that. We don't have any hamburger buns, so we're gonna pull this, put it in here, put some barbecue sauce on it, and try a. Pulled fox sandwich. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. How's that, John? That's just really good. <laughs> Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Barbecue, uh, barbecue pulled fox. It's good, ain't it? Why do people not eat these? I got something stringy in that one. Did you? <laughs> I got something stringy in that one. All right, John's recording for you too. This is TikTok, but I've convinced my wife to try Fox. And the only reason I'm getting her to eat it is because my mom tried it first and she vouched for it. So I, one thing I can promise you is she's going to give you a honest review. I'm paying her 25 bucks to do it. So. <laughs> that that's good. Yeah, that's good. Go for it. Fox going in. And to be honest to the people, tell the people the truth. Tastes like roast. Tastes like a normal roast. Yeah. 
Other than the you fact could, I know it's a false. Yeah, well, if I, if I told you that was beef, would you have just ate it and not said anything about it? Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Fox, we highly, highly recommend it. It's definitely one of the best things we've tried so, thus far out of our traps. So we definitely recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see a possum catch and cook, click right there. If you want to see me trap a red fox, make sure to click right there. We will catch you guys on the next one.